Hey everybody, welcome back, and today I am very, very excited to be able to be doing one of these videos. It's been such a long time since we've done one, or it feels like we've been a long time since we've done one. Uh, we are here to talk about our December trip and talk about what we have planned for December of next year. So, without any further ado, let's hit the intro and let's get started. <laughs> So, our trip that we will be taking in approximately three and a half weeks will start on December 28th. It is my last day of therapy, and then we'll be heading out to good old San Antonio, Texas. For us, it's about a seven-hour drive, which is a very, very rough. I don't care who you are. It's rough. Okay? But we're going to be spending two days at Fiesta, Texas, and one day at SeaWorld. Um... I'm not going to cover too much on it because just three days. Um, we will be there for the New Year's Eve. 360 degree fireworks on the quarry wall. Uh, we'll also have a show uh, video coming out for that. Um, probably a couple of days afterwards. Um, we'll also be attending the members uh, party, which starts from 10 p.m. to midnight and we'll also be recording the fireworks show for that one as well. So we'll have two new fireworks shows coming out. Don't expect anything crazy with projections and any you know lights and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's simple. It's Six Flags, so they're going to be music, fireworks, maybe a little bit of projections. Uh, I do believe they'll also be drones, so that'll make it just that much more better. And hopefully the drones will end up being better than the projections it could be. I don't know. Just have to wait and see. Uh, we'll see how it turns out with the uh, with the 8K camera. So um, we'll be using this time to catch up on some content. We haven't been to Fiesta Texas all year, and since this year has been rolling around and everything was going on with my shoulder, having to work with it all messed up, we just didn't have the ability and the finances to be able to go down there with a busted shoulder. Um, there was before I had my surgery, I was very limited on what I could ride. I couldn't ride anything that required shoulder restraints because it put, it put too much pressure on my shoulder and it would pop it out of place. Um, now, that's not the case. Um, now, my shoulder is to a point where it's not popping and it's not moving. Um, so, and it's like a brand new shoulder, dude. I mean, come on. Got to be excited about that. Uh, the pain is still there, but I can deal with pain for, I can deal with a little bit of pain for a five, three to four minute ride. So it's, it's not that bad. Um, we're going to be taking this time to update our POVs and get some new ones. Uh, we're going to be getting all new POVs on Dr. Diabolical, the new Flash Kids coaster, um, all the flat rides that we have there. I'm talking about we are getting a buttload of content while we're there and we're not... <laughs> We're going to make sure that we have enough to sustain us until our December trip next year, which we'll talk a little bit about here in a little bit. Um, this is our first trip since coming back from Disney uh, in September. Uh, I came back from Disney in September, and literally three days after we touched down home, I had to go in and get surgery. So it's not been a fun time. Uh, it's been a lot of sitting around and a lot of therapy, not fun, but we're getting to be on the upwards part of it now. So it's just all about patience and hard work. Um, but yeah, we'll be coming home on the first back to therapy on the second. Uh, we're slated to go back to work as I covered in the video a couple of days ago, end of February, first week of March. So we're going to work a little bit harder to see if we can get back sooner. Uh, as soon as we get back to work, we'll start working towards getting our flights and everything done for our December trip um, for next year. Uh, our December trip next year is probably going to be the biggest Disney World trip we've taken with no kids. No kids are going to be coming. It's just going to be two friends going an adult trip at Disney World. No kids, no worrying, just two adults staying on property. I am staying on property. This whole you can save yourself some money by staying off property. It's 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 just don't don't do it. Don't do it. 
do not do it. It is, it's a trap. All right. It, it is a hundred percent. It's a trap. Okay. So we are staying on property and the times that we're going December 31st, we are arriving on New Year's Eve because we would eat California Grill and get to watch the New Year's Eve fireworks at Magic Kingdom at California Grill. Um, so that would be a, a lot better than being in the park. Um, I've been in Magic Kingdom on New Year's Eve. I'm going to tell you right now, not a fan. Nope, not even a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll uh, catch an Uber all the way back to our resort, which is the same as it always is. We'll be staying at Pop and then have our, you know, start our vacation the next day. I'm not going to break down our park days and dining reservations because we're still over a year away. Um, but we are going from December 31st to January 13th, which is 14 days at Disney World. And we have already, I have already got dining and park days and everything planned out. Um, but I don't want to discuss it now because there's, there's just no reason to. You know, we're, we're over a year away, so there's just no point in it. Um, the reason for the adult trip, my son Asher will be in school during this time, uh, so I really don't want to pull him out of school for two weeks. I'm lying. I really do, but I have to have a good working relationship with his mom. She doesn't want him to miss school for two weeks. I don't care about school for two weeks when it comes to daddy and father going on vacation, but, you know, you win some and you lose some. Uh, we'll be taking him to SeaWorld and Six Flags before we head out anyway, like we're doing this year. So it's not like he's not going to get anything. So hopefully I can sweet talk his mom into just letting him do it. And then she'll be like, yeah, okay. You know, and then if that's the case, then he probably still won't come. So with that being said, it'll be an adults only trip, which the last time I went to Disney solo, it's really not fun by yourself because well, for me, my experience staying that long by myself, it's kind of got a little boring because I was sitting there doing everything by myself. So it's kind of something you really want to share with somebody. So that's why I bring, bring one of my friends with me and we have a fun time. Uh, we do have a video coming out in the next couple of weeks about the Disney dining plan. I'm waiting to get some information about the Fantasmic packages and stuff to see how that's going to play. And once we get that information, we'll start putting that video together. Um, so that's that's our trip plans for December. Everything has been confirmed. Hotels, tickets, everything's done. Uh, we're just playing the waiting game. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys are at Fiesta Texas or SeaWorld during this time, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Um, you can always approach us. We're going to be doing videos and vlogs all three days. So don't be a stranger and say hi. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.